morning guys, Mark Farashi, ProTech Dog Trainer. We're heading down to Juan Mendoza's again. You guys are watching my videos down in Compton, the Granger Field. Um, I'm really uh, happy to be working with him because I know he's going to be, help, be able to help me with, uh, with Buddy. And it takes that like-minded thought and being able to convey the, uh, the ideas in regards to a higher level training aspects. Okay, we're dealing with where is the dog's head at in the work than we are just the dog doing it. Okay? And you hear me talk about it all the time. It's one of the most important things and things that I center on all the time in my my yakking to screen and my trying to, to give you guys accent points. Um, in the old days when I took in a client, I would just be trying to sell them on me covering. He'll sit down, stay, and come and finish. Okay? They'd come in and I'd say, your dog will know these things when he goes home. Okay? My, attitude and what I do nowadays is totally changed okay now when I have a customer come in I go and strive towards trying to get the customer to realize the dog is a product of his genetics and is a product of his environment and trying to emphasize and get across the point to them that they are a big integral part of who that dog is their environment how they treat him and who they are and that relationship bond that and the teamwork that comes between the two of them is really what produces that end product, who that dog is as an individual, okay? So, that being the case, working with Juan is really cool because I can see a lot of the ways that he works with his dogs. He's watching him work one of his ring dogs the other day that he's got up for sale, actually, and this dog could go towards the real, he could go towards police, he could go to the street, he could, he could be trained to do anything. Why? Because at a young age, he's learned to learn, right? But he conditions his dogs with a whole different set of drives based on ring sport. And I want to try to see if I can ask him to film today. And I'd love to, to be able to act, give you guys some accent points, things that I may see that you don't see in how he's working this dog. And I look at it right away. I want to grab some of this stuff because it's good stuff, you know. Um, Oscar Mora is good friends of his. And, and these, this knowledge is uh, kind of like a stew. Okay? You cook a stew, all this stuff molds together and you marry those flavors together. When we're dog trainers at our, at our level, uh, not that I'm really that high up, I'm not after titles, but I, I've been doing this for a lot of years, so my, my mind is into the science of dog training and the art. Okay, Remember my little quote, without science there is no art, right? So I like to think of it as what I call the gut feeling of dog training. I get my juices in there and I feel it, right? And the good trainers will do that, okay? so. Juan has got a certain way of conditioning his animals, and you can see the drivey type of things he's creating, and I look at it and say, how did he get that? What little pieces of the puzzle did he put in to create that mental uh, attitude and work ethic and, and drives in the dog, okay? And so I'm going to try to get him some film today, try to show you this, and I want to try to give you some accent points so I can get you guys that aren't that knowledgeable about dog training, maybe to see some of this, okay? Because it, it's good stuff, folks, it is. And I want to put some of that into my, my stew pot, okay? I want to get that stuff and I want to mix it in with mine and get my flavors and everything to marry it and, and have a better uh, dish that I'm cooking, okay? Because that's what it's all about for me, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's not a matter of just the meat and the onions. It's a matter of how those flavors come together and what your end product really is, right? Because, again, remember what I was telling you? I look at it like a piece of art. In the end, it's a signature piece of art that those dogs are very individualistic to me, okay, and who I am as a trainer. Well, I see a lot of that same thing in Juan. He's, he's hell on wheels. He's good. You know, he really is. He understands training to the higher level, the advanced level that I get into wanting to be. But I'm, I do this stuff, I do these videos because I want to pass that on to you guys. You know? I want to let you feel some of this, right? Let you smell some of that good smell coming out of the pot, right? That's what it's all about. So I'll get you guys going. I'm going to do a few videos today, hopefully, and see if I can catch some of this stuff and pass it on to you guys. Have a good day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.